Hicksville just dropped Faceswap, and it's not like anything you've seen before. The technology that used to require thousands of shading images and weeks of setup now takes one photo and one click. Unlike tools like Nana Banana that destroy image quality and overall composition, Hicksville Faceswap preserves everything – the grain, the lighting, the atmosphere – while delivering studio-grade deepfake results. Your photo plus a target image equals one perfect swap in a second, no training required. I've already covered Hicksville Popcorn on this channel, so link below if you missed it. Today we are diving deep in a face swap and showing you exactly why this changes the game for content creators. Go to hicksville.ai and here on the starting page, as usual, you can find an enormous amount of different videos and user cases how you can use Hicksfield for your specific needs. So there are a lot of different models, a lot of tools for video and image creation, but uh, in this video we cover only face swap. So choose face swap link here. Well, that gonna work in very simple way. Just choose your photo. I'm not sure that it's gonna work with uh, cat images, so let's try someone like uh, Nicolas Cage, for example, and the target image. Uh, let's take this image, for example. And now you need just press only one button for creating face swap. Important to mention that Hicksfield AI has ability to test it out this feature for free, and this is really nice of them. Alright, we've got our image and only look at this. That's very funny and very impressive. As you can see, uh, the image, the face looks exactly how uh, the original one, the Nicolas Cage, and it's very impressive. The very important moment here that we was able to save the overall composition and even the glasses. So I really like this result. So let's try to make something a bit more complicated. For example, let's try to use uh, this classic scene and once again press a face swap button. One minute passed and we've got our results and only look at this. Well, that looks exactly how the Nicolas Cage and I like the consistency of this image. What is really interesting here that for some reason the Hicksville changed the haircut, but at the same time it's not a problem because it looks really nice. So let's try a bit more complicated task here. For example, let's uh, use uh, an image of Sabrina and let's try to pass it here to Thanos. I think it's a very serious test for Hicksfield face swap because I'm not sure that it will be able to determine uh, to identify the face, the face of the Thanos, so let's test it out. Alright, one minute passed and we've got our result and only look at this. Well, it wasn't able to, to face swap the face according to the style, but still that looks very natural and still we have consistent image, consistent face of Sabrina, which I really like. And it surprisingly works, in some unpredictable way, but works. And once again let's try to use this tool for face swapping Nicolas Cage through the role of Terminator 2 and press face swap. Alright, once again we've got very very impressive results here. And what is really impressive that the Hicksville face swap was able to add the shadow on the face right here, exactly how it looks in original image. That's very impressive. If you think that it's all you can do in a Hicksville face swap tool, of course it is not. Let's press history button here. And now, for example, let's choose any image here. Let it be this one. And now we can easily animate it by pressing video button. Here you can choose any AI video model you like or any video effect right here. There are enormous amount of different effects which you can use for your specific needs. And let's add eyes in effect. All right, we choose this one. And let's try to use very simple prompt. The camera moves very close to the man. And let's press generate button. All right, we've got our results after three minutes of waiting. And let's have a look. That looks very scary, to be honest. <laughs> But I like it. I like how consistent the face. Not ideal at this moment, but still very solid. The face is changing, but not so much. Especially in the first four seconds. So let's try to animate another image, another video here. For example, this one. You can make your character speaking without any problems. Now we need to change our model for lip syncing. We can also add our audio or generate it right here. Let's try to generate it right in the browser, but as I mentioned earlier, you can upload your audio uh, created by yourself. Or uh, you can just clone your voice or any voice you like. Let it be a very simple text. Hi, do you like my audio system? I like the default voice, so let it be Markstone. And press generate button. Hi, 
Do you like my audio system? I think this is perfect. Prompt is very simple, a man speaking. It should be actually uh, described as detailed as possible. But unfortunately, at this moment, I don't have too much imagination, so let it be just a very simple prompt, a man speaking. The model, infinite talk, the quality, let it be high. And press generate button. And while we're waiting, for processing our video, let's create the second one. Well, I think we could do the same with uh, this image here. We can animate our character and create and generate very sacramental phrase of Terminator. I'll be back. For this, add our image here. Let's generate our audio once again. And let's choose a different model for generating our video. Not the Kling speak, but let it be a Hixel speak. 2.0 and press generate button. Okay, we've got our first video. Now well, let's have a look. Hi, do you like my audio system? Well, uh, the audio and the lip syncing works in a perfect way. The consistency is not the best, but still very solid. I also like the amount of movements here with the hands and the overall body. The processing of the video took me 5 minutes and I really hope that the, the next video with the Hicksfield Speak 2.0 model will be faster. We've got our video and let's have a look. I'll be back! Hmm, that looks funny. I'll be back! Well, the amount of emotions a lot. There is a lot of emotions. The mimics is not the same, obviously, but uh, we could specify it in our prompt previously, but I didn't do that. So anyway, we still got very consistent lip syncing and the face looks very consistent, which is very important for lip syncing. I think this works great. I really like the amount of feature available right in the, the service, right in one place. So we can just easily face swap any image and then upscale it, edit some of the details and animate it and even make them speaking, which is very impressive. And everything in one place. This is a really killer feature for me and a best selling point. And speaking about the selling point, I really like the fact that Hicksfield allows you to use some of the service, the majority of them, for free or testing out by yourself to understand how good this service is. So thanks for watching, I hope that you like this video and bye bye.